boiler assembly and solenoid valves. Side solenoid valves. To switch the side solenoid valves, it is necessary to remove the stainless wire rack and the two 3mm hex screws of the left panel. Disconnect the ground, lift the machine slightly and remove the panel. Once having disassembled the panel, you will have access to the solenoid valves. Starting from the top, the first solenoid valve is the steam for the milk frother. The next is the one for the steam wand. Then the one for hot water. And then the autofill. To remove one of the solenoid valves, it is necessary to loosen the rear panel of the machine by unscrewing the 3mm screws. In order to remove the solenoid valve, it is necessary to disconnect the inlet and outlet tubes, the electrical connections, and then the rear screws. Flow meter. In order to remove the flow meter, it is necessary to disconnect both the inlet and outlet tubes, as well as the connector. The flow meter is clipped in. Remove it by simply unhooking it from the machine's chassis. Boiler components. To get to the boiler components, it is necessary to remove the upper panel, unscrewing the eight 3mm screws, including the two which are under the tank cover. In the upper part of the boiler, we can find the level probe, the safety thermostats, the expansion valves and the temperature probes. In addition, in order to remove the temperature probes, it is necessary to disconnect both the yellow and red connectors. The heating element of each boiler is welded inside the boiler itself and the wires are in the lower part of the boiler. If it is necessary to change the heating element, it is necessary to replace the whole boiler. Boiler assembly removal. To remove the boiler assembly, it is necessary to disconnect the wires of the four solenoid valves. Then, disconnect the silicon red tube of the milk frother's steam by cutting the strip. After that, the strip must be cut and the hot water and steam one stem silicon tube has to be disconnected. With a 12mm wrench, disconnect the Teflon hot water, steam and autofill tubes. Look out for hot water leaks. Remove the discharge tube of the milk frother's solenoid valve. Disconnect the temperature probe connectors. Disconnect the main wiring connection. Finally, disconnect the pump's connection through a 12mm wrench. In the upper part, remove the strip and disconnect the main discharge and the solenoid valve's tube for the coffee by means of a 12mm wrench. With a hex 4mm wrench, remove the two screws that fix the boiler assembly to the chassis by detaching the connection to the coffee solenoid valve. In the lower part of the boiler, you can notice the heating elements, while in the upper part, all the other components. It is not possible to replace the heating elements, but rather you will have to replace the whole boiler. Removal coffee solenoid valve. Remove the ground tray and the stainless wire rack. Unscrew the four 3mm Allen head cap screws to remove the right and rear panels. Disconnect the ground and lift the machine to remove the panel. Remove the tank and the fixing 2.5mm screw under the tank cover. In addition, still using a 2.5mm wrench, remove the screw on the front panel. 
Then move the panel to get to the solenoid valve. Disconnect the coffee brewing tubes by pressing the ring and pulling it towards you. Then take the two screws off using the 2mm wrench. Move the coffee solenoid valve and then disconnect the inlet discharge tube and the wiring.